Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about Hey Arnold, The Jungle Movie from 2017. And this is a winner of my Patreon movie review vote. If you would like for me to review a movie of your choice, then click on the link below and pledge to my Patreon, and maybe I'll be reviewing your movie next month. This winner was selected by Dan Leon. This movie, I think, is um, interesting in that I think there's a thing with shows particularly animated shows, but shows in general, that become movies. That is, you take kind of a simple TV show premise and you blow it up for the big screen and you, of course, have a bigger budget and really want to show off and do all these big, huge things and it doesn't feel like the show <laughs> at all. And you're kind of like, what the fuck? You ruined the charm of this thing that I wanted to see this movie of. And it kind of just feels like the thing, but not really the thing. And there's not really a narrative reason to do that other than like, hey, we're big enough to do it. Some are very good at those, like the South Park movie and so forth. But um, Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie, no, this wasn't theatrically released in theaters. I know that. But Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie uh, actually does have a narrative reason to be a movie with crazier sets and doing more stuff and a bigger budget. Because Craig Bartlett designed this idea on that. And the idea of Arnold finding his parents, basically. And he narratively does this really well. In fact, I would say it is probably the only film I've seen like this that actually smartly explains why they're doing this fully. And it, it's something you want the story to do and you as a fan one and everything like that. So it's like probably one of the most natural movies of this kind like it you know i don't think quality wise it's like at the top but i'd say narrative wise and like the storytelling and the problem solving they got to be there i actually give this film a lot of credit um probably more credit than any film like this would normally get so basically the background of this is craig barley when he was making the original run of hey arnold hey arnold was renewed for a fourth season they're basically like make like a TV movie, a direct-to-video movie, but also a, th a theatrical film. And so he developed this to be the theatrical film. Almost plays like a series finale, kind of. Um, and it would be a follow-up to the episode Parents' Day, where you learn about like where his parents are and stuff. Long story short, that didn't happen. And they released Hey Arnold the Movie, which is not what this is. Um, which was originally supposed to be a TV movie, which is like a weird animated shows get a movie thing that happened with like not just hey arnold but uh batman mask of the phantasm had that happen to them that's why the best aspect ratio for that is actually four three um and uh as well as doug's first movie believe it or not which was a nick tune but then the became a disney tune um so yeah which is kind of crappy i don't know why people thought that was acceptable but that's what happened um and i think the hey arnold the movie falls into the trap i'm talking about where it's like well, we're a show that's going to have a big movie, so we'll unnaturally be a storyline of the show, but it's not, it sort of doesn't feel like the normal show because we've blown it up too big and it doesn't feel like it's even the same sort of DNA, almost. Like the Rugrats movies never felt like Rugrats episodes. They felt like too big for their own good and there was really, it, it, it felt, it always feels sort of like this weird unnatural thing. It might might sort of like it it might be a little more fun and poppy in certain regards but it just never feels like the show so in this movie you start off and arnold wants to basically is thinking about his parents and then there's some like a video contest to show how your class is the most giving or whatever and so then you can go to i think it's a made-up place to be honest with you i think it's what country it was a san lorenzo that does not sound real is it anyway um, I'm gonna pretend it is me. To go to San Lorenzo, Arnold tries and then he fails and then Helga um, helps him make the perfect video and it kind of unites like gives you a bunch of fan service but in a semi-natural sort of way. Um, you get Stoop Kid, you get all this all the stuff you'd want from everyone who ever appeared on here Arnold and they all come together to make this video to help him go to San Lorenzo even though it's supposed to be a humanitarian trip but Arnold's like fuck that I'm gonna <laughs> 
I'm gonna ditch y'all as soon as I can and find my parents. But um, and stuff and goes on a trip with everyone. So Gerald and Helga and the whole crew is there, and he goes off to find his parents. And that's overly kind of complicated, and I guess would go into spoilers. Um, but it sort of goes as you think it would, and so forth. It's not too surprising of a plot. I do like at the beginning. This very much feels like a Hey Arnold episode. Just an average one. Even though it had been a long time and all that stuff, it just feels like your average Hey Arnold episode then goes into the jungle thing sort of naturally. And that's a, a very interesting line to do for a movie like this. I know it's a TV movie. It got the reverse thing. Like, that should have been TV movie and this should have been theatrical. What is interesting, I was thinking about this with those, is the difference between TV movie now and then are so different because now everyone has widescreen TV, so the aspect ratio... You, you, you wouldn't it wouldn't be such a dramatic change i mean obviously now you just do export setting and make sure everything matched up real quick but like then it was like okay well we actually framed all our shots in a certain way so we gotta like figure this out and now it's like like my phone is shooting this and could be don't play this in a theater that would look horrible but um but you theoretically could it wouldn't be aspect ratio wise off it'll just be awful the movie screen would just burn if I was there. It was just like light on fire. But um, it'd be so horrible. This movie, I think, um, Greg Bartlett, who wrote this, is directed by uh, Remy Misquiz and co-directed by Sue Livingston. He does a really good job. Um, I, I, I do think this movie works within, um, you know, basing that on. And then goes on a cool jungle adventure, which, you know, is a little typical and has a big end third act set piece and all that stuff. But... I think gives you exactly what you want for it and does set it up in a way that makes you kind of think, oh, you could make more of these. And with, you know, they have new people doing a lot of the kids because some of them grew to grew older, although there are several Arnold voices and things like that. Um, that doesn't bother me. It didn't take me out of it. I sort of just accepted it right away. I am seeing this in 2022, not in 2017. I am not sure why I didn't read 2017 fully right now. Um, probably because my daughter was really young and I don't know I don't know <laughs> this you forced me to I don't have a good excuse and I don't know if I really fully watched it but now that I I did give it much more of a fair shake this time um I did really like this film and I do like what it does with the Arnold legacy and I do think it is the better of the Arnold movies it's just interesting that one is almost the worst you know kind of like what you'd expect from a animated show become a movie and this is like what they really should be, you know, which is which is interesting. The juxtaposition between the two There's one I think is very satisfying to fans and it understands the story and the context and the characters and what they're doing with this narrative. And the other one is Hey Arnold the movie. This does have uh, a cool voice cast like um, Al Alfred Molina's in here. Dan Castellaneta is obviously in the cast, but it's always people forget he's there. Jim Belushi has a cameo. Carlos. Uh, uh, Le Cresqui, um, who did, um, I believe he was the Taco Bell dog, wasn't he? And uh, was on Reno 911. Um, uh, but um, it, it does kind of go into kind of Indiana Jones-esque adventure territory thing, but it sort of generally works. I think a lot of it depends on how much you like Hey Arnold or not. I don't think the narrative once you get into what this film, the, the jungle part of it, it doesn't just come alive as much. And the reason like his parents are gone is not like amazing. It's kind of like, oh, okay, I guess. Um, uh, I, I, I wish they had, you know, played off some more things, made it a little more interesting. Cause it felt like they were smart enough to get this to work. You feel like the rest shouldn't be so um, kind of, oh, okay, this is what the Indiana Jones action adventure thing is like, and we're going with it, and all those things. That I was less surprised by. I still found it enjoyable, and I think had, um, you know, the famous Billy Wilder quote, you don't have third act problems, you have first act problems, I think because the first act was so strong, um, I think it actually helped with me. And I'd say the ending is fairly strong as well, but but because you have that structure at the beginning and you know what this world is and stuff, and then you blow it up and go somewhere else, it smartly works a lot better than it probably should, to be honest. <laughs> probably shouldn't work as well as it does. I do think this is probably when you're gonna talk about the Nick movies, should definitely be on the, t or Nick animated movies or movies made of Nick tunes or whatever. This definitely, I think should be 
considered in the top tier because it got something to work that shouldn't and it found a reason to do one of these movies you know other than like financial or something like that or some idea that my show's big enough it deserves a show kind of stuff um i thought this really worked and sort of justified its own existence very early on in a way that made me endeared to it even if as it went on i was like not really as into it um i believed in it early on which i think is a viewer if they can grab you early that's great any adaptations or changes and stuff i thought was fine the technology thing is way loosey-goosey if you really get into it because someone has like like kind of more of a smartphone but then they have videotape and then beepers are going out of business so what year this even takes place i wish they just kept it to this is still like the classic era of hey arnold kind of technology and not advanced it i think that was kind of a mistake if you like hey arnold and you have not seen this movie um you absolutely should it is great for fans and you'll have a wonderful time and you will immediately go oh this is hey arnold okay cool and you'll be into it and i think that's the best thing about this film is it got exactly the kind of film it should be for the narrative for the story what you want from it all the fan service and it tells a legitimately fun good decent film and one that has the narrative reason to be the way it was so it it not only justifies its own existence it was made to do that and i think that is pretty cool um i really like that as i've sat through so many of these that are like we're a movie now and you're like i guess what do you have to prove and they're like we're a movie now and that was that's kind of as far as it goes i think hey arnold kind of finally answered the question and gave us what happened to his parents and in a way that i think you know this show ends up being one of the better reasons to give an animated show a movie like this even if it you know ended up on tv ultimately i think the quality of the film almost demands it shouldn't have been even though it is but i think the quality of it how good the creative team was on hey arnold and how they're always good to balance these things on the show and throughout this franchise so if you've seen hey arnold the jungle movie and you'd like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to and this was a winner of the patreon movie review vote if you would like for me to review a movie of your choice then click on the link below and pledge to my patreon and maybe i'll be reviewing your movie next month thank you very much for watching